Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or whatever time you're watching this vlog, and welcome back to another episode of Into the Net. We're starting this vlog very close to my home. We're in our glass, we're at the meadow, we're watching our glass seconds versus seeing for United seconds. But later on this evening, I will be at Newry City against Glen Torn in the, uh, in the Sports Direct Irish Premiership. So I'm really looking forward to that game, obviously. So I'm just sort of trying to, it's a lovely day, sun shining. Best weather in Northern Ireland has probably ever seen, to be honest, um, in a long time anyway. Um, so no, look, it's uh, it's good to be out and about. So yes, I'm starting at our glass, I'm very close to where I live. They're playing St. Phil United seconds. So we're at the ground already. Let's see how this game unfolds. And then come with me to the New York City Showgrounds to see how that unfolds later on this evening. Uh, there is a criminal match today there, way to Wraith Rovers in Scotland. I haven't travelled to the game, I just thought, I wanted a weekend at home, I've done a lot of travelling lately um, and I've just been on a, a course this week uh, for my coaching badges so I'm absolutely wrecked to be honest, I'm still tired so as I said, close to home this weekend and we'll see what happens so I hope you enjoy the vlog and let's get into it Should have been a penalty for our glass. Probably one of the most clear cut penalties you ever likely to see, and I've no idea how the referee missed it. Cross came into the back post where Matthew Rooney hits it sweet on the volley. It's a smashing volley, and the same for the United defender. He's clearly handballed it. Um, the excuse will probably be protecting his face, but no, his hands were out. Stonewall penalty, not given. Still 1 0 for our glass. But yeah, they've absolutely been robbed of a penalty there. Huge, huge mistake by the referee. Half time, our glass one, same for the NL, Podrick O'Shea with the goal and the uh, keeper did well with the initial shot. But his defence didn't help him out. They were they were static, and he just ran in and just slotted it into the in, into the middle of the net. But on the balance of play, our glass have been the better side. They've controlled it. They've had the better chances. David Armstrong in in goal for our glass hasn't had too many uh, chances to, to to make a save. And I think that's credit to the the our glass midfield and defence. They've been very solid. Going forward, they haven't had too many chances themselves, but they've just controlled the game and, and CNF just really haven't got into it. But like I say, Hourglass completely deserve to be ahead. And they've just defeated some good football to be fair, they've kept it on the ground and they, they're, they're making those second runs that can get in behind the CNF United defence. So I think they'll be very, very happy with the work they've done in the, in the first half and now it's time to build on it here in the second. But yeah, I've been impressed good coaching style good methodology so yeah there's, there's obviously plenty to build on it's very early in the season it's a roasting day it's really really warm here so it's you know that those energy levels will be hard to maintain but at half time it's our glass one seeing field no Uh, three in our glass and that's the goal of the day so far but Sean Carr stunning run just has the drive has the power on him and he just smashes it across the same thing goalkeeper and into the net oh stunning stunning goal three in our glass and I would say that this game's over and like I said at half time our glass have been outstanding. They've been completely in control of the game in the second half. They've shown a little bit more intensity in the final third. So three in our glass, I'd say that's their first three points of the season for the second seed as they lost 4-1 last week. So it's a great reaction. Um, stunning goal from Sean Carr. And like I say, our glass totally deserve it in control. Let's get him out. 
goal and seeing Fleet Foot one back. Nice run through the middle of the hourglass defence, but defensively they'll obviously be frustrated by that. And that's what I mean, the weather and the it's so warm and you can see the tiredness kicking in. And so it was a great run to be fair. And the Phoenix he just slaughtered it right through the legs of Davy Armstrong and the hourglass goal. 3 1. But I still think this game is pretty much done. I think our glass are just pretty much totally in control of it, regardless of that goal. But it's something now for seeing through the build on and make the sort of last 20 minutes or so interesting. Game on. Three two game is absolutely right back on and I don't know how our class have got themselves in this situation to be honest with you. I think they've just controlled it, they've been pretty dominant. Same field have had two shots really on target in the second half and have scored two. And I think you know I can say the conditions obviously tiredness in the defence or it's shown but our glass should not be in this position. They've been so dominant, they've controlled the game in midfield but it was a good strike low across uh armstrong and the, the hourglass goal to make it 3-2 but as a big hourglass are in but he's taking such a heavy touch sean car and he should score but that would have been a perfect response if he had scored that but it's hourglass three same thing two and we have a grand stand finish here not long to go at all about maybe 10 10 minutes or so but it's three two for a glass So we've arrived at the New York City Showgrounds for New York City against Glen Torn. Half five kickoff. Unbelievable day. Um, our glass won 3 2 against St. Fee. So that was good. Um, nice to see your hometown club win the game. But looking forward to this game, Newry against Glen Torn. Glen Torn will obviously be the favourites. Newry have been better away from home than at home this season so far. But Newry beat Ralph Ryan here. 2-0 uh, the other day, so they'll have confidence hopefully coming into that game. Glen Torren got knocked out, or no sorry, they won against the Crusaders on penalties in the Clint Adam Shade. So we'll see how this one goes. again with Clint Oren's only real chance in the game and he to be probably took it well, struck it with a laces into the bottom corner but Yuri have played well, they've shown a lot of character, they've shown intensity and to be fair there was two penalties turn, turned down. One of them certainly looked clear cut, the second one not so much and then Norton Ford had a massive chance. He got one on one with Aaron McCary and he to be fair keeper made a really good save of his feet. But Newry can get in between Paddy McLean and Luke McCullough, the Glen Torn centre backs. They don't have a lot of pace. And if Newry can keep, they're not going to have so many chances 
like they did with the Logan Ford chance in terms of a one-on-one -on -one so much in this game but if they can sort of go if they can play that ball in between the two centre-backs then they can carve out half opportunities or they can certainly get shots away on goal so they've been impressive Newry very unfortunate to be 1-0 behind but I guess that's the quality you're playing against the Glen Thorn team that will only need one chance to score and so far that's been the difference just that night and again I looked, didn't even need to look up just hit it first time it's a lovely strike in the bottom corner and, and it's, so far it's Newry and El Glen Thorn won uh, substitution with Glenn Thorn, Luke McCullough has had to come off of an injury. He's replaced by Aaron Whiteman. So Aaron White Marcus Gain will drop in the centre back and Aaron Whiteman will play as the wing back. Um so a little change of system and for for Warren Finney's side. So close to one one. Yuri have held their own and like long the long direct ball, beyond ball, comes into Lorgan Ford and Lorgan Ford tries to clip it over McCarry and it hits the bar goes behind, inches away from 1-1 and it would have been an unbelievable strike but uh, in terms of a finish it would have been incredible and here you're in again, could be 1-1, one -one. it is 1-1, one -one. it's 1-1 one -one. One -one. Ball came through to Kieran O'Connor against his former club and he just slotted it into the bottom corner. And Newry said he deserved that. Um, could have had a penalty. And uh, Logan Ford's had a brilliant chance, well saved by McCarry. And then he set the bar. And then the ball's played in the O'Connor and he's composed to slot it in. And then Thorne have only had one real chance in this game. And credit to now and again, it's a great finish in the bottom corner. But Newry have been excellent. They've shown intensity and at the back. Then Torn looks shaky at the back, they don't look comfortable at all, but 1-1. One, one. <laughs> 2 1 for Glen Torn, now and again with a second of the night. Sort of a carbon copy of the first goal. Ball came into the back post and he had a sweet lay into the net and I think Murphy in the near goal will be disappointed again. Uh, been beaten at his near post. I mean it was a good strike, don't get me wrong, but I think you'll be disappointed that he hasn't kept it out in terms of his shot for amelioration. Uh, the first one, he, it was a good strike, don't get me wrong. Uh, it was a really good finish for the second goal, I think. His awareness let him down a little bit, but 2 1 Glenn's horn, two shots on goal. That's what the best teams do. Two on the struggle half time, and that's not the less than you deserve. I think they've been excellent in this first half. I think they've been really good. Uh, Daniel Hughes for the finish after Newry worked the throw in well, but I think if you're a Glen Thorne fan, you're scratching your head over just how he scored it. Really poor defending. Paddy McLean should have done better with it. There's no doubt about that. Um, and Daniel Hughes just tucks it away into the bottom corner. But Newry have been really good. They've been positive. They've shown really nice energy. And Glen Thorne have had two shots on goal and the two shots are real quality so now and again over the second one I think the Newry keeper will be disappointed with it being beaten at his front post but 2-2 and like I say I think Newry have shown a really good character uh, just to speak then to one of another chance it's blocked and it drops the junior and he turns and hits it wide and that would have been unfair Newry I think they've shown great application character in this first half and they just need to get in half time now 2-2 we group going again in the second half but it's been a really good uh, half it's been really good quality and this is the best that I've seen Yuri play this season I've been in a few other matches um, but they showed really really nice application of quality tonight Three two 
for Glens Horn, Dar O'Connor, the former Clinton man at the back post. But again, I don't want to be too critical, but I think goalkeeper should be doing better with that. He gets his hands to the ball, and it goes into the bottom corner. 3 2 Glens Horn, and having a game, haven't actually done all that much in this second half. It's just they've had one chance, and they've taken it, and like I said, that's what the best teams do. But you know, they've came back from behind twice before. Can they do it again? Let's see, but it's a poor goal to concede. Really poor goal to concede. 3 2 Glens Horn. Penalty for Glenn Horn, cross came in and header directed on goal and uh, Noel Healy had his hands up, can't really complain, definite penalty, chance for Glenn Horn to go 4-2 up and seal the game. Still 4 2 for Glen Torn. I think game's kind of fizzed out, it's died down. Glen Torn obviously don't really need to push for any more goals. Nuri do look tired, made quite a, a few substitutions there. And obviously that affects the flow of the game, but Glen Torn have controlled it since scoring the fourth goal and it uh, hasn't been uh, nothing really in it in terms of big chances since Glen Torn scored. The fourth goal via that Shane McCartan penalty. There hasn't been too many chances. It's sort of it's been pretty uh, pretty non-eventful. I don't think that's fair to say, but yeah, still 4-2 Glen Torn. I think this game's just going to fizz out. The referee in this game has been an absolute shambles. I mean, the referee in the, <laughs> in the sports or the Irish membership isn't good anyway, but Brian Hitty's just been booked after getting pushed. And uh, there's no card the other way. And uh, decision making from the referee has just been embarrassing, absolutely embarrassing. And there's no doubt Glen Torn have been the better team in terms of the being clinical. But I think you're even good. But I think the referee has been appalling, absolutely appalling. Uh, just decision making has just been awful. And again, uh, I'm not biased at all. I'm really not. Um, but. Newry aren't getting anything in this game. Just not getting the rub of the green at all. It's uh, just an absolutely embarrassing refereeing performance. And uh, like I say, uh, it's, been, it's hard being a referee, and I don't want to be critical, uh, but it's just a dreadful, dreadful refereeing performance. Well, what do you call it? Bring it up. So it's now Sunday, just came home obviously from the match yesterday, chilled out for a bit, um, watched a little bit of international football, cannot wait until this international break is over. Um, I love football as everybody knows, but international break is oh, such a boring time of the year. I think I've said kind of everything that I needed to say um, from the Glen Torn and Yuri game, I thought Yuri were excellent, I really did, I think that was their best performance well, certainly that I've seen from them in the first half this season. I thought they were absolutely brilliant. Um, so it was a fantastic performance and they can take real positives for that going into the next game, which is another really tough one at Coleraine next Saturday. As for Glenn Torren, you have to applaud them, you have to praise them. They were clinical and they got three points that keeps their good form running. And that's obviously the top of the league. They have Dungan and Swifts next, which... Again, they should win that game and, and, you know, they should be in so much confidence because of this run of form. But it was a really, uh, I thought, you know, four goals was, was harsh on Yuri. And I think Yuri were really good. And like I say, I think they can take positives into Corian on Saturday. As always, thanks for watching the vlog. If you liked it, please 
Um, if you liked it, please leave a like, please subscribe. My target, the target for this video, we'll try to get, we'll go 30 likes. That'll be unreal. I would love that. So thanks for watching. And um, please, if you like the channel, spread it around. Get your friends, get anybody that you know, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. The next match will be next weekend. Nothing really on during the week in Northern Ireland. So, um, Cliftonville play on the Monday against um, Crusaders in North Belfast Derby. I will be there. But there will be a vlog before that, which I'm not sure where it was come from. But stay tuned. I'll see you in that one.